What's up guys? I'm launching some new music very soon. I'm so excited about it. It's something I've been working on for a year with some of my best friends, so I couldn't be more excited. I had so much fun on this project, but I do want to manage your expectations in saying that it's definitely not metal. It's definitely not rock. It's also not fusion or jazz, folk, polka. It is pop music, man. If I had to sum up this project in one sentence, I'd have to say it is pop music written like rock music. Okay, so here's the story real quick. About four years ago, I met this guy called Terrace. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, uh, it's I've never heard the name Terrace before either. Let me, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Terrace is, an, is a unique name, much like Quibus. Maybe that's why we were really good friends right off the bat. So I met Terrace, we hit it off. And the award for best drum face goes to... Terrace is a boss, one of the best lyricists, writers, and communicators that I've ever met. He then introduced me to Mr. Paul Brimer. I'm gonna make some Spanish. <laughs> what else are you gonna make? I'm gonna make you an omelet. <laughs> That's so good. Paul plays drums, piano, harp, basically one of the best musicians and producers I've ever met. So the three of us got together, we really hit it off, we became very, very good friends. So we established this production group called Nine Club, which now consists of Paul Brimer, Terrace Meisenheimer, yeah, he has a he has an interesting last name too. Terrace Meisenheimer, Kubis Portgitter, you know? We were always gonna be friends. Paul, Terrace, and myself. And we write music together and we produce music together. We're releasing our first song really soon. I'm gonna do a drum cover of it and put it up on this channel. I actually sing, I just sing the chorus on the first song. Just to give you an indication of how very involved all three of us were in the lyrics, the production, singing and everything else. We'd have these jam sessions where I'd be on the electric kit, Paul would be on his workstation messing around, and we would just try and come up with new stuff. And it was so sick, man. It was so much fun because when you plan an electric kit with these weird samples, it opens up a totally different part of your brain in terms of creativity because you have a completely new set of voices that you can use. I loved how that forced me to be creative in new ways. And we wrote most of the songs from that place. I've written rock music with people like that before in the same room, kind of figuring it out, but applying that same process to pop music created something really organic. And we actually wrote most of the songs like that. We were always in the same room. It was always all three of us exchanging ideas. And so it's not conventional, superficial pop music. It's just music being made by three friends because we were having fun and we wanted to do something fresh and something new. And I've done rock, I've done lots of rock stuff in the past. I've done some metal stuff in the past and I've never done pop. So that's why I was really excited to give this a shot. If you don't like pop music, please just listen to the, the, the tracks. I would really appreciate it if you could open your mind and just give it a shot. If you don't like it, if it's not your cup of tea, if it's not your genre of choice, I'm not offended in the slightest, but just give it a shot, man. Like I feel like different genres are like different kinds of food and the more kinds of food you can allow yourself to enjoy, the more food you get to eat. Who loses then? Everybody wins, man. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate that a ton and I don't take it for granted. And I'm super excited to hear what you guys think about the new music. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.